Hello everyone, Brandon Leone here, hitting you with a Roseville real estate market update up to September 2022. Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna do things a little bit different this time. We wanna look at what happened in July and what happened in August. As we're seeing this market shift, the market shifted a lot in July, and there was this doom and gloom, so I wanna hit you with the exact numbers. Let's go. So when we look at houses for sale, in July there were 368 houses for sale. In August, 361. So the amount of homes for sale slightly went down. That's a good thing, that means houses are selling. When we look at houses that are pending, houses that people have agreed to purchase, in July we had 158 houses pending, and in August, 190 houses pending. What that means is houses are going in a contract, which means we should see less houses available next month, also a good thing. Lastly, when we look at houses sold, so there were 156 houses that sold in July, 154 in August. So that stayed pretty stagnant. A lot of that probably had to do with the fluctuating interest rates, but either way, this is good for us to see this data, to see we have a stabilizing market. It is not going like this. Also, something else to consider, we have the price per square foot. In July, $332, in August, 330. So we see how price per square foot fluctuate up and down you know, up to $10 per square foot each month. It just so happens over the last three months, it's been within four, but that is pretty consistent for this time of year. I think one of the most important things we have to look at to see where the real estate market is heading this fall would be the average list price versus the sold price. So houses that are being sold, how much less are they being sold for than what they're listed for? So right now, as of this last month, they actually sold at 96%. So what does that mean? That means that houses are selling 4% less than what they're listed for. So then what was the numbers in July? Well, the numbers in July were 97%. So it's only gone down 1%. And this is all the houses, people. So we're talking about the, the smaller houses, entry-level houses. We're talking about the move-up houses. We're talking about the multi-million dollar houses. So when you look at that all, we're still within that range and we need another few months to see but for me, looking at these numbers, I am seeing that we're not seeing a huge drastic drop, which is a good thing. All right, so one of the main things we wanna look at, in June, houses were selling for what they were listed for, so 100%. So we're looking at the list price versus the sold price, right? June goes down to 97%. So we saw houses sell 3% under what they were listed for. And this last month, in August, 96%. So. 4% under what they're listed for. So this is something, this is the number we really want to watch to see where the market is headed. And, you know, stay tuned for next month to look at that number. So in July, it was 22 days and in August, 27 days. So we only saw a five day difference on houses being on the market just a little bit longer. So another thing we want to look at in Roseville, California. So in July, we had an average sold price of 717,000, right? So in July, we actually had an average sold price of 679,000. So that number did go down as the lowest we've seen it in a very, very long time since actually like middle of last year. But we need to keep looking another month to see if we're seeing a downward trend or if it levels off. So we're looking at months of inventory. How long does it take a house to go from active to pending? Well, when we look at May, right, we had 1.1 months of inventory. When we got all the way to July two months later, it was over double that. So we did see the inventory just skyrocket compared to what it was. And that's why we're in this weird spot right now where we're seeing a decline, because we just had way too many houses come to the market too fast. But now we're seeing it go back down. So now this last month in August is 2.3 months. So we're gonna start to see that number trend down slowly. We still have more inventory than normal, but still a little bit less than this time of the year is supposed to be. So there you have it guys, Roseville real estate market update. Now. There are a lot of things we wanna to continue to see and we do need more data, but we're seeing this market stabilize and level off. It's not going straight downward like, like a crashing plane like people might believe. You have interest rates, you have the time of the year. Typically, around August, the market slows down anyways if you historically look at numbers. So there's a lot of factors here to why we're seeing the market slow, but I'm curious to see next month's numbers and how that's going to affect you when you're buying or selling a house in the fall this time. So feel free to reach out with any questions. I'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions about the Roseville real estate market, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. My name is Brandon Leone, eXp Realty, and I'll see you next month.